Hi, this is Rich with Binary Answers. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a really simple but attractive email signature using Outlook and Word. There are a couple of really good email signature services online that allow you to upload your image and text and they'll make an email signature for you. But a lot of these have limitations and they want to charge. There's a pretty easy way that you can make these yourself. The problem is that the default signature editor in Outlook is a little bit limited. If you go to Outlook, go to File, Options, Mail, and Signatures, you'll be able to see in here that you can create new signatures, list existing signatures, and choose how you want your signatures to display on new or replied messages. To create a signature in this editor is quite limited. You've got a choice of fonts, justifications, bold, italic or underlined. There's no ability here to do anything flashy or to make it look really good. So what we're going to do is open Word. Create a new blank document. Now the key to this is going to be laying out your signature in a way that is attractive and easy to read as well as easy for you to update in the future. The best way to do this is to insert a table. It doesn't have to be a big table, it can be simply two columns. So go to the insert tab and from the tables section choose insert table and choose two, two columns. Once we've got this, we need to resize it slightly to make sure that it's going to be of an attractive size for an email signature. So we can easily click and drag the table columns over. From here, we're not going to want the table to have a border. So if we highlight both cells within the table and up the top right of the design tab, you can select the borders drop down and choose no border which will give us this outline which you won't be able to see once this is inside a signature. So a couple of simple things that need to be added to make sure that you've got all the content that you want within your signature. Your logo, your name and job title, phone number and email address as well as a couple of other bits that we'll add in. If we choose insert pictures. I've got my logo pictures saved on my desktop. Select the logo which will put it straight in. Nice and easy. From here we can adjust the table size to make sure that it fits with the signature. Then all we've got to do is type your name. Not literally. Your job title your phone number maybe your mobile number and your company's website nice and easy but that doesn't look great so we can easily use word to format the text to make it look a little bit more attractive. Select the font that you want. Select a color. And select a font size. For the website, you're going to want it to be a clickable URL, which means that when people click on it within the email, it takes them straight to your website. To do this, highlight the web address. From here you can go to the insert tab. The links drop down and you want to insert a link. From here it's going to ask what you want to insert but the address is already going to be here. So click OK. And there you go. Clickable link. We can resize the image 
to make sure that it fits. But make sure that you don't use an image that's too small and resize it to make it too large, otherwise it will end up pixelated. And maybe you're going to want a small division between your logo and the information. From within the table, select the Design tab, choose a color, in this case we'll use a gray. Choose a border size, we'll use two and a quarter point, and select the border painter. You can paint a border as a division between the two objects, and then turn border painter back off again. Nice and easy. So that's the basis of your email signature. From here you're probably going to want to add a couple of extra items, maybe some social images with links and maybe a little disclaimer at the bottom. We can easily do this by choosing insert, pictures, select your Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter logos or any other social media images that you want to add, insert those in. We'll make sure that there's some spacing in between each of those. And then below that we may want to add an email disclaimer, this might have been provided by your IT department or by your HR department or this might be something that you've got from online. In this instance I've got a couple of disclaimers ready. We'll copy the disclaimer text, pop it underneath and make it a little bit smaller because we don't want this to take over the entire email. There we go. So, this is the basis of your email signature. In order to make the social links clickable you'll need to make sure that you select each one, go to the insert tab, click links and add a link. From here you'll need to type or paste in the link of the address that you want this to go to. Once that's been done for all of your items, make sure you've saved your Word document. Then Highlight everything that you've made in your signature. Right click, not on the table. If you right click on the table, it will deselect the items that you've selected. Make sure that you right click somewhere on the disclaimer or elsewhere. Choose copy. From there, we can go back into Outlook. Go to File, Options, Mail, and signatures. Create a new signature and give it a name. Right click in the edit signature box below and paste, making sure that you keep the source formatting. And there we go. Before you close this window, you may want to choose whether you want this email signature to automatically display for new messages, or whether you want it to also display on replies and forwards. This signature is quite large to be used on replies and forwards, so you might want to make an alternative that's more compact. Click OK on the signatures and stationary box, and OK again on the Outlook options. And now, when you choose new email, your email signature will display. A couple of things to note is that as you can see here, the disclaimer down the bottom is actually run all the way along and it will go as wide as the window will go. So within your Word document, you may want to add some carriage returns to break the disclaimer down into more bite-sized chunks to make it more attractive and keep it within the size of the email signature itself. Another thing to note is make sure that you save this Word file as the next time you go into the Outlook options and signatures, your signature may look malformed or not as it was when you brought it in originally. This is a quirk of Outlook and has been a quirk of Outlook for quite a long time for a few versions. It doesn't mean that the signature won't display properly within a new email message but it does make it more difficult to edit it directly within the Outlook window. So it's best to make any changes from within your original Word document, delete 
the original signature from Outlook and paste the updated one back in. If you're pretty good with Word, or if your company has provided you with lots of images that can be used within your email signature, there are lots of possibilities to make your email signature stand out and pop. Just bear in mind to make sure that when you've finished your email signature, send a test email to yourself and check it on as many different devices as you can. You want to make sure that your email signature displays properly on iPhones, Android devices, phones, tablets, Outlook, or in webmail applications. Once you're happy that everything is working properly and it displays as good as possible, you're done. Save your Word document for future editing and enjoy your new email signature. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Rich for Binary Answers. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments or if you have any other videos that you'd like us to make or any tutorials that are getting you stuck, then please let us know. We'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you have got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. Come find us on Twitter, at BinaryBlueIT, and find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash BinaryBlueIT. You can also find us at BinaryBlue.co.uk, and we'll be posting regular video updates and new tutorials every week. Thank you very much for watching, and come back and find us again.